some steps. I don't know why. Now we are, I think we are recording. Yeah. I have to begin by saying good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever and wherever you are. This is Coach Lee, and we're working on speech anxiety in all its forms. And right now we're talking with Javier. Uh, say hello, Javier. Uh, hey, hi. And Javier hey, is hello. From me he's from Mexico, Mexico. <laughs> That's the extent of my Spanish. I can say Mexico. <laughs> and uh, the story with Javier, basically, um, very recently, a week or two ago, he uh, contacted us and explained that. Um, that he stutters, he said, quote, 100% stutter block um, with strangers, authorities, 80% uh, on the phone, 70% with family. And that's a lot. Um, it's not a record. We got people who go 100%, <laughs> uh, but um, it's a lot. So um, he said he can read aloud and whisper and talk alone without stuttering. That is also no, what we call normal for stutterers. Um, there are no other stutterers in the family. That's normal too. Um, we find about 75% of stutterers have no other stutterers in the family. I was the only stutterer in my family. My family was full of orators, judges, attorneys, um, presidents of organization, big organizations, my mother and my brother. So, Stuttering, we, we think you can learn it monkey see, monkey do, but we don't think genetics has anything to do with it at all. It's certainly not organic because there's nothing wrong with our tongues or our palates or our larynx or whatever that makes us uh, physically weaker than a fluent person. So we don't think it's organic. We don't think it's genetic. We, we know it's not. Uh, and and we don't think it's chronic either because almost everyone we help is able to st stop it if they stay with it. So, okay, so for therapy, um, Javier's had some of the big name therapies and I assume he's spent thousands of dollars on therapy or his family has, is that true? Yep. yep. And, and our program is like $99 stem to stern, <laughs> plus a little bit for coaching, not for me. Uh, I don't charge anybody anything, but if you get help from some of the others, it's, it's like 50 bucks a session uh, because they're, they, they got to eat. Um, some of them are broke and unemployed, uh, but it's very modest uh, kind of therapy costs. Now, but, um, so um, we talked, Javier and I talked one time before, and he said that he'd read my short course book. And so uh, that's where we left off. Now I'm going to ask him questions. Okay. Um, is the short course book the only book you've read of mine? Yep. Okay. I would recommend to you uh, that you get my how to Stop Stuttering and Love Speaking and read that. I mean, here, here's the, the, the short course book right here, 86 pages. And here's my magnum opus on stuttering. It's 700 pages, but it's a much better statement of the case. You've got fairly severe stuttering. So you should, you should read both those books stem to stern. And incidentally, did you like the short course book? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh. I, it's, um, f for me, uh, it's, uh, it's um, too uh, 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 difficult to change my mindset because a lot of t 
time uh, I learned uh, uh, um, the, the opposite of um, you know the, something I, I want to interrupt you and I want to say now what are the one of the first things I teach anyone who will listen to me who stutters is the same thing I taught fluent people. I practiced law for many years and I put people on the witness stand and asked them questions. And one of the first things that I did was I asked them, I taught them how to answer questions. Now, most questions about any subject from anybody from now to the day you die, most questions can be answered yes, no, or I don't know. And that should be your initial answer because I'm like, are you hungry? Yes. Um, would you like to go to the movies? No. Uh, did you do your homework? Yes. Uh, people want an answer to their questions. And so, uh, don't start off with a speech, and I'm addressing you now as a stutterer and as a non-stutterer, both. Don't start off with a speech. Answer the question, yes, no, or I don't know. Now, to make it easier for a stutterer, look, all you need to do to beat stuttering, it's, it's really, there are many simple ways to beat stuttering. It's hard to learn them when you have the stutter habit. You need to do some tricks to trick your mind into letting you do them. But all you need to do when you do anything other than try and force the word, if you're doing anything else, licking an ice cream cone, waving goodbye to someone who's leaving the room, uh, anything that you're doing other than thinking about the word you're blocked on will unblock your speech. If someone says, um, if someone says, um, do you like asparagus and you don't, um, you immediately start saying, instead of going for the word and thinking, oh, I got to say no and I'm going to get stuck on the end. I don't do that. I start shaking my head. No. Same thing with the yes question. I, I nod. And as I nod, I say, yes, yes, no, I don't know. I hold up my hands or I shrug my shoulders. I don't know. Now, from now on, as a kindness to everyone who ever asks you a question from this day to your last breath on this planet, as a courtesy to those people, and as a kindness to yourself, answer the question. Yes, no, I don't know, can't say. You know, answer the question, but do a body movement. Start the body movement first. Yes, no, I don't know. All right. I'm going to ask you questions right now. Do you like to stutter? No. Would you like to be fluent? Yes. What's the distance to the moon? I don't know. Okay, you scored a hundred. <laughs> Did you stutter? No. And why? You know why you didn't stutter? because your mind was on something else. Here's what happens with stuttering. It's a habit that's automatic. You have made the mistake, as I did, and many others, 80 million they say, you made the mistake of making some mistakes. Few people laugh. You got thinking about your mistakes, and you began to try and plan your words so you wouldn't make the mistakes. The more you plan the words, the harder they were to say. And that, so it, it takes four things to stutter. You got to hesitate. 
We don't want to do that. You got to think a word. We don't want to do that. You got to fear the word. We're not going to do that. And you got to force the word. All four things. Now, when you go, yes, you didn't hesitate. You didn't think a word. You didn't fear it. You didn't force it. You don't, you got to do all four of those things. You didn't do any of them. You just said, yes, no, I don't know. The minute you start speaking without hesitating, without thinking a word, without fearing it, and without forcing it, you will be stutter free. Now, our whole program, that 700 page book, is about ways to do those four things. Different ways to do it. That's all it is. But let's not make it harder than it is, because in truth, if you can think anything other than the word you're going to say, you won't stutter. It's that simple. All you got to do is think anything other than the word. You cannot plan your words anymore. Those days are over. I am not playing one word I've said to you today. Not one word. They all sounded normal, didn't they? Didn't they? Speak to me. Yep. Okay. And don't, hey, listen, follow instructions. You were nodding your head. That's right. And after you started nodding your head, you speak. So, okay. So, the good news is this isn't as hard as you might think. You need to trick your brain into not planning words. Not thinking them before you say them. I gave a talk at Sam meeting a couple of weeks ago, and, was, and I called it babbling. And babbling is the way most people talk. They don't think about anything they're saying. I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm just going to talk. I don't know what room. I'm going to go to a party this afternoon, and I don't know who's going to be here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm not sure what I'll eat. I'm just babbling. I'm not thinking about anything I'm saying. That is fluency. That's all it is. It's babbling. But what do stutterers do? They hold back. Why do they hold back? Because they've made so many mistakes. They're embarrassed. They don't want to make any more mistakes. Forget your mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. I, 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 I make mistakes. I, I, I repeat words sometimes or force a word sometimes because my mind is, I don't know what it's doing. I don't care. At Sam meeting a couple of weeks ago, one of our students, her name is Fatamata. She's from Africa somewhere. And so she said, I just, she said, anymore, she said, I don't pay any attention to my mistakes. I just forget them. And the more she forgets them, the less mistakes she makes. She's basically fluent now. She was stuttering a few months ago a lot. She never stuttered now. <laughs> Letting go. Letting go. If someone slapped you in the face right now, you'd go, ow! You wouldn't need to think about it. You just say ow because it hurt, wouldn't you? Yep. And so all I'm saying is speech is the same as ow. Now, okay, we've established that all questions that are possible to answer this way 
Most questions are, you can't answer yes, no, or I don't know. There are some that you can't. Um, they say, how tall are you? Or where do you live? That's not a yes, no, or I don't know answer. But probably 80% of all the questions you'll ever get will lend themselves to a yes, no, or I don't know. So you have just, you have already learned this morning or this afternoon, whatever it is you do, you've already learned how to answer most questions without stuttering. Haven't you, Javier? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and you're going to do it. And from this day forward, you don't need me, you don't need anybody else. You know this now, and you're going to do it because you're a disciplined person and you're in control of yourself. That's the good news. You can do this, Javier. We don't do any magic tricks here. None of us have any abilities, really, that you don't have. We know things you don't, but you know things we don't. That's the way life is. Fine. We'll tell you what we know, you tell us what you know. We'll all get along great. It's not that hard. So you're going to answer, yes, no, I don't know. And that's going to solve all those problems. What are you going to do about all these other questions? That don't lend like they say where do you live and you live in mexico and you're going to get stuck on the n or the or the e or the x you're going to get stuck because you know you got to say mexico what are you going to do there are two basic things one is individual words like Mexico or your name Javier or my name Lee individual words that you gotta say that starts most stuttering most stutterers started with one word and they repeated it or they blocked it or both the other problem is caring in conversation. You got to say more than one word. What would you like for lunch? Or, you know, or can you describe how to hit a baseball or something? It's not a one word answer. You're involved in a conversation. It starts with one word, but after that, there are other problems you gotta continue. So we have, we have what we call, we use tools to say, to avoid these problems. There are two kinds of tools in our repertoire. One is what we call a crutch, and the other is what we call a speech plan. Crutches one through eight, we have like th 14 crutches, actually 13. One is no crutch at all. And these crutches are like the same thing. If you broke your legs at both at your knees, we would ask you to use crutches to let your knees heal. If you keep walking on your broken legs, they're going to stay, you're going to keep re-breaking them. And it could just get worse and worse until you got to amputate a leg or something. So we got to stop walking. We got to stop irritating the problem. You need to stop stuttering now. And what's crazy about it is you can do it. That's what's really funny. Funny, ha ha, funny, peculiar, both really. You can do it. How do you do it? Crutches one through eight. Have you memorized them by number yet? Um, just a couple of, of ones. So the answer is, it isn't yes no. or no. no. It's, it's some. <laughs> it's some. <laughs> some. Okay. Now, which ones... 
have you memorized? And as you answer me, I want you to nod your head just a little bit. Which which ones have you memorized? I, can just give me the number. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, what numbers? Three. Good, good. I like the way you used your hands. That's good. That's good. That's good. Because you you didn't you didn't block on the word, did you? No. And you and you and you never will. That's the joy of this thing. Remember that. The minute you do something else, you're not going to stutter. It's your silence that the automatic habit jumps in on because it is an automatic habit. But when we block it, what happens is it gets weaker. Every time we block it, the next time it's a little bit weaker. And after a while, it gives up. It breaks up into little pieces and blows away. There's nothing there, you know. It's just a habit of holding back. Yeah. And I want you to become Mr. Enthusiasm, Mr. Joy, when you speak. There was a wonderful story that I read of a stutterer years ago called From Failure to Success in Selling by Frank Betcher. And he was a student of Dale, the famous Dale Carnegie, who introduced uh, the wonderful speech programs and also wrote How to Win Friends and Influence People, one of the best selling books in the history of books. And so Frank Betcher was one of his students. Frank Betcher was the oldest of my five children. His father had died. And he was kind of the man of the house. The problem was he stuttered. And the only job he could get was with Western Union. Riding a bike, delivering telegrams. And that's the way he supported his mother and brothers. Finally, he, he was a very good athlete. And he played baseball, too. And he was actually signed by a major league team. But before he was, he was playing in the minors. I think he was a shortstop. And the, the manager one day said, Betcher, I've got to let you go. And for, he got paid for playing baseball. They were, he was in the minors, but he still got paid. And they had minor leagues, A, B, C, D, E, F. They had all kinds of minor leagues. In those days, there was no NFL, I don't think. It was before the NFL. It was in the 20s. Anyway, he said, I got to let you go. And Beckford said, why? And he said, you don't have any enthusiasm. And he said, I need, I need somebody out there who's really going to get the team fired up. He said, you just don't do it. And Betcher said, well, will you give me just one more chance? Just give me, give me a, a, a week or two, and I'll show you I can be that person. And, um, of course, part of the reason Betcher was quiet was because he stuttered. So the guy, the coach said, okay, I'll give you a couple of weeks. Betcher became known as Pep Betcher. He was the most enthusiastic guy on the team. He moved up in the minors and he finally got a chance in the majors, but he had an injury or something and he had to quit that and he had no other job. And it was the depression. It was in the early 30s and it was the depression. He couldn't get a job with a salary and he was still trying to support his mother and his siblings. He got a job as a salesman. 
and he couldn't sell squat because he couldn't talk. So they had weekly sales meetings, and at one of the sales meetings, he had better decided he was going to quit. He was thinking about suicide, and he was going to quit his job. He was backing up his desk, and, and Dale Carnegie came in to give a talk to the sales staff. And he listened to everything Carnegie had to say. A lot of the things that Carnegie said, how to win friends and influence people in his book and stuff. And Betcher got, became very enthusiastic about that. And he found some ways to reduce his stuttering. He also found that, that the more success that he had in the selling, the less he stuttered. He became one of the top 20, one of the, know, one of the top 10 salesmen for Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance for 20 consecutive years. It's a huge company. He became rich. And that, that met your story. Now, I would like you to become Pep, I'm not going to say your last name, Pep Javier. I want you to become Pep Javier. And that means I want you to smile. I want you to be enthusiastic. I want you to be over the top happy because you and I, we won the cosmic lottery of life. We're here. Wow. It's a great treat. It's a great opportunity. In its worst of situations, it's a great opportunity. And you don't have to stutter, and you're not going to stutter. You're going to stop stuttering. And you're going to stop starting now. We're going to stop. Everything you say, I would like to see with you some very natural and very modest body movement. Very natural and very modest. You are not a statue. You are not a mannequin. No. You're a real living, breathing guy like I am. Wow. That's good news. I'm animate, not inanimate. I'm in motion, not motional. I want you to do some moving every time you speak, starting right now. Will you do that for me? Yes. Okay. And I want you to do one other thing while you do it. I want you to smile. <laughs> Did you know when you smile, it takes 13 muscles? Did you know that? No. Did you know that when you smile, you send an endorphin type happy message to every one of the 30 trillion cells from the top of your head to the tip of your big toe? Did you know that? No. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to do that over and over all day long? Yeah. It'll change your life. Yeah. And the third thing is, I want you to combine these two things, the body movement and the smile, into an attitude that will make people call you Pep Javier. <laughs> what do you yeah. think about that? Good? Really good. Okay, now, good. those three basics is a game plan. It's not a speech plan, it's a life plan. Now, coming back to the speech, 
Crutch one says drop the first letter or syllable. It works. It's the most popular of all the crutches. It's not my favorite, but it's probably the second or third one I ever used. And I used it a lot. I'll demonstrate it. I can rock the erst etter of oast urge in an entence and eat right on awking, and you will ill under and and me ain't I a isn't that true? Isn't that true? Yep. Wait a minute! Don't hold back on me, man. Come on! I'm not an actor here. I'm, we're, we're doing we're doing something together. I want you involved here. Don't hold back on me. That's the old yep. Javier. The new Javier is Pep Javier. Yep. Pep Javier. You say you have nothing to be peppy about. That's the old Javier. The new guy has plenty to be happy about. And you're going to be. Because you're going to make yourself. You're going yep. to do it. Okay, so that's dropping the first letter or syllable. The second crutch is use a synonym, similar word or phrase. That's the one most common that most people discover on their own. The problem is they don't know enough words to bail themselves out much of the time, which is why yeah. one of the things that I did is create my own vocabulary book. I'm not asking you to read it. It'd be great if you did, but I'm not asking you to do it. I'm just telling you that's what I did. I really wanted to beat it. I was serious and determined. So I learned a lot of words. Crutch number three says skip it or spell it. Now I want to say she has beautiful black silky hair, but I'm stuck on beautiful. I say she has black silky hair. I skip beautiful. Or I'm mm -hmm. stuck on Stuck on black. I say she has beautiful silky hair. I skip black. Or I want to skip. I'm stuck on silky. She has beautiful black hair. Skip a word. No one knows the difference. Or spell it. What would you spell? What's your name? L E E Lee. Say that. L E E Lee. Say that. Wait a minute. Hey, come on. L E E E L E. Look, once you start, we get that gets into conversation. But once you've said the first letter, every all stuttering starts with one word, syllable, or letter. One. And the minute you say any other word, syllable, or letter, you've broken the block. On the blocked word, you're free. As long as you connect to. How do you do that? Well, it's making me jump around a little bit. I hold the tone of the first letter. I'm going to go fairly fast through the crutches and then come back. Crutch. Three, skip it or spell it. If I use my hand to spell something, L E E Lee, do that. <coughs> L E E Lee. Right. Now I want you to do it. H A V I E R Javier, do that. Get your hand up. It's J, it's not H. I said H. J. You pronounce it like it's H. Yeah. Uh, G. J. Uh, uh, now listen, hold on. J. Uh, You're going to have to jump around a little bit.
Uh, Can you sing without stuttering? Um, a couple of oh no. no. I I have only I have only known a one or two stutterers out of hundreds that didn't answer that question. Yes, only one or two out of hundreds. You know why? Because when you hold, if you hold your tone, you break all blocks. Do what I do, and do it exactly the way I do it. When I'm worried, imitate that exactly. When I worry. And I can't sleep. And I can't sleep. I count my blessings. I count my blessings. Instead of sheep. Instead of sheep. You didn't stutter, did ya? No. You know why? Because you held your tone. Say after me and hold your tone as if you're singing without a melody. How are you? How are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? Will you help me? When you help me. May I help you? May, may I help you? Exactly. Don't let your tone break. because That's when you, you have time then to hesitate, think a word, Fear it and force it. Yeah. So you don't, you can't, when you're holding the tone, you can't do that. The way you carry a conversation is you hold your tone through all words. It works, Javier. Don't even, yeah. don't believe me, it works if you do it. If you yeah. break your tone, it won't work. But if you hold your tone through your words, you will never stutter. Now, problems, I'm going to run out of breath. You will. Do you need to take a deep breath? No. Do you need to think about your breathing? No. Well, how do you do it? You only say a few words at any time. We call this talking in short increments of words. We talk one to three words, one to three words or so. That's a short increment of words. One to three words or so. Or so might mean four, five, six, seven words, probably no more. Now, our brain knows how to breathe. It doesn't need instructions doesn't need instructions for words either. When we stop for one second, 1001, our lungs refill automatically. Just like we stutter automatically, our lungs refill automatically. You don't have to think about it. We always have enough breath. So what do we do? We talk in short increments of words. We hold our tone 
to all words. That, and that makes us link the words. How are you is one word. H-O-W-A-R-E-Y-O-U, one word. Say, how are you? Say that. How are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? May I help you? May I help you? I love that pie. I love that pie. May I have another piece? May I have another piece? Do you see what you're doing? You are linking your words and holding your tone. Javier, when you do it, you're fluent. Do you understand? Yes. You say, but I can't, but you can. I do nothing that you can't do. Not anymore. Maybe a, a long time ago I could do some things you couldn't. I was a very good third baseman. I used to be able to sing. Maybe I could beat you in those things, but not anymore. Now, at this point, there's nothing I'm doing that you can't do. Your only excuse is you hold back. Why do you do that? No reason. It's a habit. Stop it. Pep Javier. Pep Javier. This is the guy. Every time he speaks, there's body movement of some kind like I'm doing now. I haven't seen your hands very much. I'd like to see them a little bit. Will you show them to me when you talk? Yes. Good. And will you will you kind of relax and kind of don't be a mannequin, move around and smile at me? Yeah. And and I want you to be happy. You know why? Because you're going to start talking now. You're going to start talking now. That means you're going to stop holding back. Now, okay. you can use the first, the easiest crutches to get started are crutch four and eight for individual words. They're the easiest ones. Crutch four says the number eight, right? What? Um, uh, um, uh, um, the uh, the um, number eight, it's uh, easier. Eight relation changing the voice register. Crutch eight? Yep. But I don't know. Once you start talking, you've got to hold your tone as if you're singing until you stop. And when you stop, you've got to stop at least one second, 1,001. That gives you time off. It allows your lungs to refill. And Mentally, it gives you a break. It gives the listener a break, which is good, too. It gives the listener a chance to understand what you said and to remember it. And look, speaking slower also helps, generally speaking, just as a general rule. So does speaking softly for the moment. So does yelling. Fire, 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 get the water. Loud and soft, easier to talk. Holding your tone. Look, you gotta start that now. 
And when we hang up the Skype thing, you got to do this 24 hours a day. So far, I'm having trouble. I'm asking you to do a bunch of things. Body movement, smile, pet venture. These all have nothing to do specifically with, with words. They're just yes. an attitude. Look at the way I pull back when I said this. Or I move on. Or I go to one side. Or I go to the other. All of my movements bring your attention to me. Yeah. I'm more interesting because I'm not a statue. I'm alive. Are you alive? Yes, I feel alive. All right. <laughs> All right. I love it. So body movement, smiling and pep. You're pep Javier. I want you to prove it every time you start talking. Pep. So how can I be peppy? I'm struggling with my words. No, you're not. You're going to use. You're going to pretend you're doing a form of singing without a melody. Say after me. What I want to say. What I want to say. Is that. Is that. Speech is not that hard. Speech is not that hard. <laughs> I'm going to hold my tone. I'm going to hold my tone. To all my words. To all my words. To the next stop. <laughs> to the and next stop. Go ahead. To the next step. There you go. The old ways of forcing words, you don't do that anymore. You hum your way. Now, can you go, ah? Uh, ah. Uh, can you go, mm? Mm. You can always talk to them. Do you understand? All you got to do is make one of those two sounds. That's crutch four. And hold it into the word. Uh, Javier is my name. Uh, Javier is my name. No. Oh, uh, you got to swallow the, the J or the. Uh, Javier is my name. Uh, Javier is my name. Uh, Lee is my coach. Uh, Lee is my coach. I love to speak. Uh, I love to speak. I speak in short increments. Uh, I speak in short. Uh, I speak in short increments. That's right. Oh, words. Uh, words. Oh, the words. Of uh, the worst word. We just used the first word as a sound watch. Of the words. Of the words. Of words. Of words. My name. My name. Is Javier. Is Javier. You see how easy it is. Yeah. Yes. It's not, don't look at this as that hard. It's not that hard. You just have a stinking habit that needs to be erased. Yeah. By not, by disuse, you must be fluent. You must not be disfluent. Now, you can talk alone in the shower, can't you? Yep. Talk as much as you can in your stutter-free zones. Talk in the shower. Talk to your dog. Talk to children under age five. Talk to anyone where you are 
fluent, talk to the max. Don't worry about anything, just talk, because you can, and hear yourself talk. Read aloud an hour a day, are you doing that? Yep. And are you doing it with feeling? You no, can say I, I don't, don't know. know or no, I don't know. Or maybe or some or. I was thinking about it, but no, no. Okay, so, but you know that you can do it with feeling, don't you? Yes. And you are now known as Pep Javier. That's your new name, Pep Javier. And Pep Javier loves to read aloud with feeling. Say after me, we have free choice. We have free choice. To accept or reject thoughts. To accept or reject thoughts. Nothing compels us to think anything. Again? Nothing compels us to think anything. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Nothing compels us. Nothing compels us to think anything. To think anything except our own desires. Except to our own desires. So use your mental switch. So use your mental switch. And dictate your thoughts. And dictate your thoughts. Believe that you can improve. Believe you can improve. And you will. And you will. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It just takes practice. You've been practicing stuttering for quite a while. Now it's time to practice. We don't practice words. We practice ways of having fun with our speech. Body yeah. movements. Let yourself be in free. Move around. Smile. Oh yeah. Spread the joy inside and out. Be enthusiastic about what you have to say. Speak in short increments of one to three words or so. Hold your tone through your words. Now, I didn't see you at Javier uh, at um, Sam on Saturday. Where were you? Now I'm in Cancun. In a house of of my uncle. And I return to Mexico City tomorrow. Okay, but you could have called, you could have dialed in on Zoom. 
just like you dialed in on this Skype thing, couldn't you? Yep. And why didn't you? Again, please. Why didn't you come to Sand Meeting, even though you're at your uncle's? What was, it was, it was oh. 11 o'clock New York oh. time. So it was what, nine o'clock your time? Because uh, I fly. Oh, you're in a plane? Yeah. Oh. Uh, 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 at that time, I was in in the plane. Okay. Oh, so I can. Yeah. All right. That was better. Think of all speech as one to three words or so. It's much easier to think of it and yeah. do it that way, don't you think? Yep. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna take a lot of shortcuts. We're gonna make it easy on ourselves. Look, learning to beat stuttering is like learning to speak a foreign language. If you were trying to learn Chinese right now, that's a very tough language. A bunch of scribbly marks, they don't even look like a language. If you were trying to learn Chinese right now, and you took a course in Chinese, and the course met once a week, and they gave you a book, and they said, here's the book, do chapter one or something, and come to class. So you went to class for an hour, then you came back the next week for an hour and did chapter two. You could spend years doing this and not learn Chinese. Or maybe you learn it, but take a many, many decades. On the other hand, if you, went, if you got a job in a Chinese grocery store, bagging the groceries at the cash register, and you were forced to speak Chinese by all the Chinese people going by you. You learn Chinese fairly fast. Yeah. Yeah. Version is the way we want you to learn how we want you to learn fluency. We want you to unlearn disfluency and learn fluency by immersion. Immersion means if you can, you need to do it every minute of every hour of every day. You're, you're basically in class. You're the only student, you're the teacher. Everything you do, you got to follow. You got you to gotta follow what we're saying here. So it's a lot to remember. Well, take it one at a time. Do it one thing at a time. Yeah. Body movement. I'm still not seeing, you're still holding back somewhat. I'm not really seeing, a, you know, really active, loose guy. I want to see a loose guy. Yeah, yeah. A fun guy. Look, this is good news. You found the holy grail, believe me. Are there other ways to stop stuttering? I hope so. I don't know what they are, but I hope there are. Meanwhile, these methods work. And you've been you've been talking today fluently here and there, haven't you? Yep. Yep. And if you can do it for one minute or two minutes, a total of five minutes or ten minutes or whatever here or there, you can do it for. You're a the same time. guy. You can do it all the time if you want. You just got to do the same things all the time. I know, but I forget. Well, then you got to practice. You got to learn. And the way you learn is to swim as you swim. You got to work on these methods 24 7. You don't say anything without holding your tongue to it. How are you? Say that. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks for uh, asking. Uh, thanks for asking. Uh, Don't stop. 
Oh, uh, th thanks for asking. You can swallow uh, this. Thanks for, oh, ask thanks for asking. Uh, thanks for asking. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's not that hard. You got to swallow a letter once in a while. So what's the big deal? So what? Until when? Until you don't need to. Eventually, you won't need to. Because it's just like sometimes today you talk to me totally fluently. No problem. And what I said on the cover of my books is true. If I can say one word anywhere, anytime, I can say any word anywhere, anytime. Do you believe that? Yep. It's true. I've never had anyone not agree with that. That's why stuttering is ridiculous. It is a ridiculous habit. It's all it is. It's a habit. It's a stinking, nasty, miserable habit that can ruin lives if you let it. But you're not going to let it. You found us. You're not going to let it. But what when the game starts is when we hang up the Skype, the whistle blows, tweet, the ball comes to you, you catch the ball, and from now till I see you again, you're running down the field dodging stutters. And you never get to the end until you see me again. You never stop. But it's fun because you're winning. Have you ever whispered? Can you whisper? Yeah, yes, yeah. I can. Say, I like to whisper. I like to whisper. When I whisper. When I whisper. I never stutter. I never stutter. I can whisper. I can whisper. Anything. And I think anywhere, anywhere, anytime, anytime, and I won't stutter. And I won't stutter. Hold <laughs> 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 a second, I need to connect my charger. Hold this up. Okay. All right. So look, I'll, I'll see you. When, when do I see you again? Next week? Is that it? Whenever you want, it's perfect to me. Let me see if I can bring this up. Uh, Okay, I put you down for weekly. We'll do this. We'll do this a few more times, and and then I'll lateral you to somebody who can keep going with you. But I'm gonna send you an email. Okay. And it's up to you. Coaches don't heal anybody. Everyone heals themselves. That's the good news. You're in control of your own destiny. We're not asking you to do anything. 
that many others haven't done and aren't doing. You can do this, but you got to do it. OK, on your own, so I'll see you. Body movement, smiling, Pep Javier. All your speech. Hold the tone through the words. Keep it short. Stop for one second. One thousand one. When you speak, one thousand one. You must stop. One thousand one. Long enough. One thousand one. To get a breath with one thousand one. You don't take a breath. Your body does it for you automatically. All you need to do is stop and then continue, and then continue some more, and keep going. You can whisper some if you like. I like to whisper, it works. You can go loud if you like, it works too. First word, hold the sound. Uh, what I wanted to say uh, is that this is the way uh, I'm going to learn uh, to stop stuttering uh, all the time. Uh, I love this method. Uh, it's not hard. Uh, I can do it all the time. I'm going to do it. Just like that crazy old man from Bermuda named Agochli. Okay. Yes. You're on duty. Kick off. I'll see you next week. All right. Uh, uh, thanks. Uh, thanks for the. One more thing. Uh, one more thing. There's another thing you can do on first words that's real easy, and that's modulate them, and, and that means go high or low. If, say after me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. 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 That'll work too. Okay. Well, you got a first word. That's another way to start. You can use the word as a sound launch. You can put a sound in front of it and connect it. You can also say another word. That's a that's a fourth way to do it, covering a lot of ground. Like well, so or and. Well, thank you. I swallowed the tea. Well, thank you. Say that. Well, thank you. So thank you. So thank you. And thank you. And thank you. See, when you you can always say anything but thank. When yeah. you're stuck on think. Yeah. Anything else you say. Yeah. You know, it'll always work. And if you come out of the voice register high, low, that's easy. That'll work. Low, high will work. Uh, you can use the word as a sound launch. Thank you. Say that. Thank you. See, when, when you when when you let go, when you swim, instead of standing on the side of the pool watching the swimmers, which is the way you've been doing your speech. When you get in the pool, you're fine. But you got to put something into it. Body movement, smiling, Pep Javier. You got to put something in it. You can't hold back. Holding back is finished. It's over. Think of yourself as Pep Javier. And prove to me next week that you've been doing it all week. Prove it. All right. I'll see you. That's a deal.
Thank you.